want to make the best meatloaf on this earth, I suggest you watch this video. I would say that. Let's just get that clear. You guys didn't know, now you know. Now you know, glory, glory! Do you want a revolution? Do you want a revolution? See, I thought we were going with Biggie Smalls, not Kurt Franklin, but I mean, hey, I mean, that Sorry. works too. Kirk is on my mind this morning. Praise the Lord. I've been in the kitchen all day, it's understandable. Church music and kitchen cooking and go hands in hand. What were we here for again? Oh yes, meatloaf! <laughs> <laughs> we are here with a meatloaf recipe. It's a viewer's choice. Viewer's choice. Shout out to Ashley on Facebook. Wanted to get our take on how she can put the perfect touch and that blessing for the kitchen on her meatloaf. Yes. Thanks. I feel like you needed a description. You know, I'm like. I, I like you just hyping me up. Babe, I'm your biggest stand. Come on now. Except I won't like put a person in the trunk and drive them off a cliff because you don't write me back. I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go do so, that. As we said, we're here to do meatloaf today. But before we get to cooking, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on. Wait. Follow us on Instagram at Kirsty Rooks Izzy Lee Video so you can see what Bodily Kitchen does outside of the kitchen. Now let's get cooking. What up, bam, bam, this your boy Izzy Lee on the mic. We changing it up a little bit because the maestro was at work. And only one man can display the sexy, succulent decadentness that is this recipe. But this music ain't working for me, big dog, so we're gonna have to bring down the tempo just a bit. Oh, yeah. That's how we do it. To start us off proper, we're gonna take two pounds of beef. Ground beef. Get our hands deep in there. Don't be afraid of it now. Don't be scared. Break it up nice and even. Next, we're gonna take that beef, yearn it for moisture, and drown it in a shower of Worcestershire sauce. Mmm, I can taste the love already. Y'all thought we was done, then whew, think again. Cause now we about to do something that Cameron don't know nothing about. We about to upgrade her with a plethora of spices and herbs. Bringing her closer to that explosion of erotic savoriness. Dousing every inch of that body. Don't miss a single crevice. Add a little onion for time. Don't be stingy now. Now you're gonna bring together a menage a trois of that gritty breadcrumb, that potent egg, and that oh so creamy milk. Keep the pillow talk going, whispering sweet nothings. Let her know how much you really want it. Let the foreplay continue with a warm, smooth, intimate massage. By this point, she has forgotten all about who you used to be and now realizes who Zaddy is. Use those palms to mold her just as she likes. Set it to the side because the evening's just begun. Now on the phase two, we'll come up with a concoction of brown sugar and ketchup. She don't know what's going on in the other room. She just know that she's in for some trouble. Keep blending, don't you stop. Lay it down on that pan already coated in oil. Don't be afraid to get rough. She likes it like that. Take that sinful, devious concoction and spread it all over her body. Let it drip down every trestle as she screams out for more. Now we've reached the heated climax. Throw that girl on in the oven at 350 and tell her to hold on tight because this hour long journey is gonna be a rough one. Don't forget your safe word, folks. Safety first. We've come a long way. The session is done. Relax, unwind. Let the troubles of the world just breeze you by. Till next time. Now it's time for the taste test. Mmm. That's good. It's really moist, very seasoned, because <laughs> mama know how to season. It's like the best meatloaf I've ever made. Best meatloaf you ever made? You're welcome. You're welcome. We back, guys. Just can't go let good meatloaf go away. How is it, babe? Delicious. Can you explain one more time what this concoction around is? Instead of your standard mashed potato, I did a roast garlic potato puree. It tastes like so creamy. It kind of goes with the meatloaf perfectly. Yeah. Just accompanies it. Not as heavy, it's kind of light, but it's also really silky. Making meatloaf sexy is very hard. Did what I could, y'all. I did what I could. We're trying to give all of us to y'all. We're <laughs> trying to give all of us. All of me. Anyway, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. This has been Modernly Kitchen, and as always, stay blessed. Don't stress. I'm about to finish eating this.
We ain't there all day. We making videos.